Alright, uh, in this video I'm going to show how we could use um, TI calculator to find an implicit uh, differentiation, implicit uh, derivative. Okay. So let's say my function is um, x squared y equals 1. Alright, so um, Im implicit function, uh, we have two types of, you know, we have explicit function and we have implicit function. So explicit function is the one that you can find in that um, Every, you know y in terms of x as a function like that but for implicit function sometimes you know uh, it's gonna be hard to find one a uh, y in terms of x um, so a function for example like this uh, I'm just writing something let's say just like this function like this you know uh, if you want to find uh, derivative of y with respect to x in explicit way the first step is um, to find y in terms of x and then take this derivative right uh, but if you want to take derivative in implicit way uh, you don't need to find that um, to find y in terms of x to take the derivative so I'm going to show you that here um, using this simple function. Um, this simple function, that I selected this. This is, um, you know, it's not really hard to find y in terms of x in here, but I'm showing this, uh, I'm using this function to demonstrate the, you know, the, the application of TI calculator to do this. So if I want to take a uh, derivative of y with respect to x implicitly, this is how it's going to work. Taking derivative of both sides of this equation is going to give me this with respect to x. So uh, the first uh, term is going to be 2xy, and then on the left side you have product of two algebraic terms, right? So uh, derivative of x squared is 2xy, and then you have derivative of y, which is y prime. So um, then on the other side, you have a constant. So y prime is going to be equal to, take this other side, 2xy divided by um, x squared. So if you simplify this, you're going to get 2y divided by x. So uh, this is my derivative, right? Um, so as I said, this function uh, is not really hard to find y in terms of x. It's basically this, right? So if you uh, put y here um, uh, in implicit way, you can just leave the, inter uh, the derivative, um, you know, as is here in terms of y in implicit way but if you wanna for this function as I said it's not really hard to have y prime in terms of x only in an explicit way uh, so if I substitute y with um, uh, 1 over x squared I'm gonna get this so 2 times of x cubed right so uh, this is how it's gonna be my y prime in explicit way uh, as I said, for this function, finding y in terms of x is not really hard. So if you have a function like that, you guys know that finding derivative of y prime is going to be like, it's not going to be hard because this is basically uh, x to negative 2, right? So this is basically, uh, you have to take derivative of this. Um, so y prime in explicit way is going to be negative 2 x to negative 3, right? Subtract another uh, 
power. So what you can do is this. Uh, you go to menu calculus. So um, you go to um, implicit differentiation. So and then my function was uh, y times uh, x squared, right? So y times x squared equals this is my function, and then my first variable the ones I need to take derivative with respect to those x, and then my second one is y. So let's see well, what's going to be the answer. You see, here's the function we found. So in an implicit way, the derivative of y with respect to x is going to be negative 2y divided by x. This is what we had manually. All right. So if you have more complex function, you can you know, put there and then find the implicit differentiation. Alright, I hope this video was useful.